Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. In today's video, guys, we're going to cover here if you have a Volvo such as S60, S80, V40, V60, V70 with the T3, T4 engine, which is the 1.6 turbo, guys. This will be anywhere from 2010 up. And you're trying to replace a water pump, guys. We'll show you what you need to know. Okay, now. That same engine guys, that 1.6 turbo is used as you know in Ford and Volvo. It's the same engine and parts you might have to double check if everything is exactly the same but it's exactly the same concept and that's how things will be done because they use the same timing tools, everything is the same on those things. Now this is the water pump, you can see right here, this is water pump. Uh, we remove the pulley and this is the timing belt, unfortunately in order to remove the water pump you will have to remove the timing belt and that's quite a bit of work we have the video on the channel for a fort to see how to do that uh, we have it actually on how to repair guys the whole video will be probably a one hour video covering every little detail how to repair guys please give a subscribe guys you can check out the detailed video there now in today's video we're going to go ahead show you uh, how we're going to remove the belt here what we used how everything is in place and we'll get to the water pump once you remove the belt the water pump is super super simple to remove and we will show you in just a minute okay so you can see that black thing right there this is the top dead center pin okay this is right above the oil, oil pan okay you can see the black ball that we just put in there okay this is this is the top dead center pin when you install that pin you turn the engine clockwise until it stops we even checked on cylinder number one the piston is all the way up that's how we know it's top dead center right here we have that locking plate for the camshafts on the back side it goes in in each of them and holds them on the front okay we have this plate right here and this plate holds the clutches uh, and also right here we have okay we have a flywheel holder installed that's where the starter usually is so it holds the flywheel and you can get to here we have all the videos on the channel so you can check them out how we did each single thing okay after that we're going to remove the bolt with the torx 40 in our case Okay, bolt came out, perfect, this is the tensioner pulling out. Okay, you can see it has a retainer on the back, a rubber bushing that holds the bolt in place. And you can go ahead and pull the belt out on each side. Okay guys, you can see the belt is out of the way. Check out what happened if your engine is not a pinned engine. Just it's spinning free, I hate that design but can't argue with Ford on that. So, let's proceed now. So that's how you remove and replace the water pump on Volvo with the, TC, uh, with the T3, T4 engine, uh, 2011 up guys. Most of them will be that way. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and many more videos to come.